This is Wilman Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with Dario Rodriguero, an acclaimed pianist, keyboardist, film composer, graphic designer. He is a Renaissance man. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek of him wearing many hats with his trailer for In See What Happens Every Morning. Well, hello, Dario. How are you? Hello. How are you? Dario, I'm doing so much better now that I'm speaking with you. You are an Italian living in Dublin, Ireland. First of all, I am indeed. Let's talk about that. How the heck did that all happen? Well, um, I was in Italy in in an area where, uh, you know, I'm I'm a musician, of course, and I wanted to do something about music so i wanted to be in a place where music is um uh the main thing uh, but in the in the area where i was living in italy it wasn't that you know uh present and there was no music industry or stuff i i just wanted to go abroad somewhere where so the the main the main uh goal was to go to new york to, to america of course but uh um i went to dublin just for visiting you know for a while with a friend of mine and here in dublin actually the music scene is very active and uh especially the live music the first night i was here i i was in a pub and i played the piano after listening to two hours of the of a performance of the Irish traditional music by the Irish people, of course. And uh, and since I uh, I never played it before, but, you know, the piano is my instrument and there was a piano in this pub. I thought every single pub had the piano, but that wasn't true anyway. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> and I started playing and people started to dance around the piano. And so that convinced me to move to Ireland. Uh, and that, that's how I'm here, like, you know, it was like five days of visiting with a friend of mine, and then... Then you're there. There you, you know. are. <laughs> well, listen, Dario, yeah, well, I, I love that story. I also want you to now talk about um, how you came up with that amazing, I mean, it looks like a Netflix trailer, but you just didn't do the music. People have to understand. You edited it. You did the graphic design. You played the score, which was also improvised. Talk to me about how that whole idea for the trailer for and see what happens came about. Well, I always like to have an approach with music, which is a very creative approach, like uh, improvising um, 
creating on the spot, creating, you know, from scratch, but oh, when I get the inspiration, when I get the stimulus, you know, like when I, when I play music, I, I, I need to go back to my history, you know, when I, the story, but I, I've never been um, a, a student, a music student or someone who learned music, you know, in the academic way. So I always uh, try to enjoy it, to have fun with it. You always and went we, by instinct. You went by instinct. Yeah, my music school, my music school was actually listening to a lot of records from my parents, from my older brothers or stuff that I had at home. That, I, that, was, that was it, actually. Wow. I would do a lot of music records and I kind of, as a sponge, when you're a kid, you actually absorb a lot of information. And uh, when I grew up, you know, um, I had a piano as my instrument. The piano is my anything with a keyboard on it. It could be an organ, it could be a piano, it could be a keyboard, you know, anything. So I could express myself very well. I don't know how, but it, it happened. And um, um, whenever I play something, I improvise. I actually, I, I like to create at the moment, like playing, like, whatever I had in mind, according to the mood, according to that. So how did it ha did that happen? Well, we were in the lockdown, you know, in 2020. Uh, we had to stay at home. We had to do something. I created this kind of live show because I'm a, um, yeah, I discovered how to compose music using the software where we have uh, available. And, um, um someone suggested me to do this live uh, or online and i did it and uh, when i did i said well let's it's like watching netflix i thought let's create something like the netflix shows where they where they show uh you know the kind of trailer at the beginning and you, you look at them and you just wait for or you're just um wait for her to be convinced by the trailer to watch the movie or whatever. So I created the introduction of the show. I love it. I think it's so creative. I think it's so innovative. And I, I think just even, my phone actually. So and it's all. even more amazing that you used your phone. But the fact is, I love that you were able to find a creative outlet, Dario, that shows so many of your skill sets. And I want to deep dive into some of them. You know, in addition to everything that you do on the piano and on the keyboard, talk to me a little bit about how you got into film composing. Well, that, that's a nice story. Um, when I came to Dublin, started to play music in Grafton Street as a busker. So um, when I, I was a busker, I was playing my piano. As a graphic designer, I made my cards. And I put my cards there. Someone picked up my cards, probably, um, I don't know, a promoter or someone who called me one day and say, uh, would you like to play music on a music venues with a jazz singer? Because I was playing kind of jazz. Jazz is a music that I really like to play. Jazz and soul and funky music. And so I said, yeah, why not? So the singers are going to send you the set list and stuff. And now from the street, I went to music venues restaurants you know with a grand piano and a, and a jazz singer playing like that after that i met many other people musicians and i became a kind of session player and uh, one day i was playing the piano in a in a restaurant in a pub for a, um um a dinner for a company or whatever and a girl came to me she she's an actress she was working for a director in Dublin, here in Ireland. And uh, she said, I really like what you're doing, actually. Can I mm, give you my contact? She, contact she contacted me, uh, you know, days later. And she said, would you be able to do a soundtrack for, uh, for a movie, for a short movie we are making, you know? And I said, oh, I never did before, but actually I love movies. I love the music, the, um, film industry and uh, everything about it. Um, I might try to do that. I asked them, I'm, I'm bad with technology and stuff, but I had the, you know, the MacBook and stuff. And I, and I, I, I understood how to, to do that. And I actually made my first soundtrack for that short movie uh, uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks 
after that. This is what I love, Dario. I love the fact that everything about what you do, you seem to go by instinct. You know, whether it's moving to Dublin, now you're going to be in New York next week, then you're going to go to Vegas, then you're going to go to Boston, then back. but you go by instinct. And the fact is, with probably not even thinking that here you are playing a private party for some business that an actress is going to come up to you and say, do you want to write for a film? And you just say, sure. Like, I love that because Dario, I think you're a perfect example for artists out there who get nervous or get worried or overthink about the how, how it's going to happen. You are a perfect example of an artist that shows others, just do the thing and just be your best self because you just never know who's listening. Exactly. You know, that's, that's, uh, I say what well, I love everything that uh, it's around music, but especially creating music. So since I love mu movies as well, and uh, creating music for movies for a scene, or you know, uh, describing a scene with music, it's the best way to for a creative person to for a creative musician to gather music. So. When I started doing that, actually, that that short movie had a, a discreet success, and it, and the it, since I always dreamed to go to uh, the states, that movie was in a film festival in uh, Chicago, and I went to Chicago as a guest, as a composer, um, for a week, uh, and uh, that was a very a very good satisfaction, you know, for myself. You know, it was great. Because I was there as a composer, and they and they um, movies, all you know, looking at the the screen uh, <laughs> with my name on it. And, you know. Audio, that is amazing. Well, listen, my friend, I could speak with you forever. But I want to let our audience know for more on the amazing Dario, you can read more about him right below this video. And Dario, I'm so excited you're coming on board this amazing new platform for artists. And I'm thinking about all of the amazing directors and producers I've already spoken with who are Phoenix artists all over the world. I'm excited that you're joining Phoenix. You're not only going to be able to connect with artists in Ireland, and we have a few Ireland and Italian and people all over the globe we have but also here in the States who are part of the film world. And I'm just so grateful for your time today and that we're connected now as well. No, thank you for this opportunity. I, I Hopefully I will be uh, in America soon because that's where I wanna go actually when I wanna, where I gonna move. Uh, that's my goal, my final goal, which I think is gonna be the place you know what I mean? So <laughs> I love I it, Dario. Well, listen, God bless you. And thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.